Hello everyone! In this episode of my JavaScript project, I'm gonna be creating a game. It's gonna be a hit the mouse. Here we go! So, I'm gonna go ahead and create a game like this in this episode. So, let's get going! Alright, so I'm gonna get going. First, we are going to declare the doc type. That's gonna be HTML. Uh, the language is going to be English. And let's create a he head section. We're gonna get UTF-8 char set and these as well. After that, I'm gonna set the title, and that's gonna be hit the mouse game. All right. Then I'm gonna link my style sheet over here. There we go, and then create the body. Okay. First, I'm gonna need a div element with the class of heading. Inside of this, I'm gonna say hit the mouse exclamation mark. All right. Then next to this one, I'm gonna make another one. This is gonna be the div for the score. So it's gonna be an h3 header and points colon span zero. There we go. And colon space. Keep that in mind. Okay. After these, I'm going to be creating another container. This is going to get the class holes. And inside, there will be hole, hole one. There we go. I'm going to copy this a total of five times. And hole 2, 3, 4 and 5. There we go. Then I'm gonna need the button. Div class buttons. There's going to be button class button start. And it's gonna say start. And then there's going to be a button it's gonna have the basic button class, but the class is gonna be stop as well. We will be toggling between the, these two different classes. And it's gonna say stop. So what do we have so far? Alright. Then I'm gonna get out of this div section. And I'm gonna create one more. Div class hammer. IMG, I'm gonna get the source and I have it ready right over here. Oh yeah, there we go, we got the hammer. Okay, then there's one more thing. We gotta link the JavaScript file to our HTML file like that. Alright, there we go. Then next, we gotta style the game. So first, I'm gonna take or use the asterisk to select all the elements. Margin 0, padding 0. I'm gonna use the box sizing of border box. And font family will be Arial, backed up by Helvetica and Sans Serif. And cursor none. Alright. Then the body of the element background color is going to be a linear gradient to bottom uh, I'm gonna select blue light blue um, uh, yeah I'm missing the height 100 viewport heights and 
I gotta comma separate this. There we go. We got the linear gradient background. Then I'm gonna use some HSL values. I'm gonna set this to be like 70. Something like that's good. And a light blue. A little bit lighter. There we go. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna give the 100 viewport heights. All right, then uh, I'm gonna justify content in the center. I'm gonna use a flex box and align items center. Okay, we may have to change these, but let's see. First, I'm gonna style the heading. So, the font size will be 3EM. Alright, then margin 1EM0 and text align center. Then I'm gonna take the score. Font size will be, let's say, 2EM. And margin 1EM and 0 and text alignment center. Then I'm gonna take the holes. Um, yep, this one. And let's say flex one zero and thirty three point thirty three percent. Overflow will be hidden. Actually, nope. Uh, this is the wrong code. This is gonna be the code for the individual whole class, but this is gonna be having a width of 600 pixels, height will be 400 pixels, display flex, flex wrap will be wrap, and margin zero auto to center it. Okay, this is what we have so far. Now, uh, I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna remove these. Okay, this is what we got. Alright, then I'm gonna go over here. After the holes, we will have to style the individual holes, which is gonna be right over here. All of these have the class hole, and then hole and a number. And then the parent is the holes. So let's take the hole. Flex is gonna be 1, 0 and 33.33%. Overflow. Hidden. Position. Relative. Alright. Then I'm gonna take the after. Pseudo class. Display will be block. The background is going to be a URL. And I got the URL ready. There we go. Then this is going to be bottom, center, and no repeat. Okay. What do we have now? All right. Then background size will be contain, content will be an empty string, width 100%, height 70 pixels, position will be absolute, z index, let's say 20, and bottom minus 30 pixels. All right. So there we go, we got the graphics on the screen now. And then I gotta take the rat or mouse, whatever. The position, position is gonna be absolute. Z index will be 10, so it can hide behind those uh, rocks or whatever you wanna call those. Height will be 10 viewport heights. Bottom zero, left 50%, and then a transform. Translate x 
minus 50%. And the animation moves 0 0.5 seconds. That's gonna be a linear animation. Right, let's check it out what we have so far. Uh, all right. Then I'm gonna take the buttons div, margin, 3 em, and zeros, and text the line center. Then I'm gonna take button. Background color will be inherited. Padding will be 15 pixels on the top and bottom and 45 pixels on the right and left. Border, uh, y uh, two pixels, white solid. There we go. Let's take a 50% gray color. There we go. Border radius is gonna be six pixels. The color, let's set it to be pink. That's not too visible. I'm gonna use HSL values. Let's see about that. Okay, that's good, but the font weight has to be bold. Font size. Let's say 1 EM. Alright, looking good. And then... No outline. We will keep the border though. But I'm gonna add some margin to the bottom. 30 pixels. Actually, I'm not... All right, there we go. So after that, uh, we gotta take the stop class. This is used for the buttons. The display will be none. Then let's style the hammer. So take the class of hammer and every image children class or element. The position is gonna be absolute. Height will be 125. Z index, let's set it to be 40, so it's gonna be always visible and will it will not go behind the other stuff on the screen. The transform is gonna be translate, minus 20 pixels and 50 pixels. No pointer events, we'll set it to be none. Animation will be... Hmm hammer animation 0 0.1 seconds ease there we go all right then we're gonna do some animating so we will take first the keyframes the move animation so from bottom 60 minus 60 pixels and then to the bottom at zero Okay, then I'm gonna take the keyframes for the hammer animation from transform rotate zero degrees to uh, rotate, let's say minus 40 degrees. Okay. And then we gotta add, add the functionality with JavaScript. So we gotta make the mouse be the hammer. Because right now it isn't so. First, we gotta get some constants. So, I'm gonna declare a constant value. Score is gonna be document. I'm gonna be using query selector this time. I'm gonna take the score and the span child element. I'm gonna make holes. I'm gonna use the query selector. And the class is going to be hole. Dot hole. There we go. Then I gotta create start btn. That's gonna be uh, the 
buttons with the class start and then a stop button. That's gonna be the buttons with the stop class. And then I'm gonna need the cursor and that's gonna be equal to the image of the hammer. So let's take the dot hammer and the child img. All right. So we have the hammer div class and the child, the child or the child element of this class is this image. So yeah. All right. Then we gotta change our default cursor to the hammer. So window we will add an event listener mouse move then we got the uh, event uh, parameter and I'm gonna use an arrow function do this cursor that style dot top is gonna be event dot page y plus pixels then we will take cursor style left e dot page x plus pixels uh, wait a moment uh, why did I put brackets over there there no idea all right so that's gonna be it for that. Now our mouse is the hammer. All right, then let's go ahead and continue. So when we click, the hammer should do the animation. So let's add another event listener to the win window. And we are listening for a click when we hear that. We are going to do this cursor style animation will be none. Then we will set timeout. I'm going to use an arrow function. The animation is going to be an empty string. And let's say 101 milliseconds. There we go. So now we can actually click the hammer. What about if I remove actually? What if I remove this? I want to try it out. Okay. Oh man, I ah oh, I gotta type it all back in. Okay, be right back. Okay, there we go. I copied this. But then I accidentally clicked or pushed the Ctrl X buttons to cut something else on the page. So my uh, copy on the clipboard was gone. Anyways, then we are going to take the start button. So when we click the start button, We are going to do this. Start btn access the style class, the display class, that will be none. Then we'll take the stop btn style display, it's gonna be inline block. Alright. Then I'm gonna declare a variable, let holy and let points equal zero. I'm gonna declare the other one but not assign it. The other one I am going to assign straight away. So points start from zero. Let's make a constant game set interval. I'm gonna use an arrow function. So we gotta do some math to make the mouse select a random hole so let ran 
mat.floor inside mat.random times 5 and holy holes ran. All right. Uh, then let's make another variable set img document create element this time img set img attribute equal to actually not equal to but the source is going to be and I gotta copy a link so here we go there we go and a semicolon at the end then set img dot set even more attributes we'll set class and rat and then we'll append this to the set img there we go and we are using the set interval so after this I'm gonna create a timeout so this code essentially this will take the mouse back inside behind those rocks so we will remove the child set image all right we'll have 700 milliseconds and 800 over here and all right let's add a semicolon over there then we gotta work on the score counter so i'm gonna go ahead and make another event listener we'll take the window add an event listener click then we have an event and i'm gonna use an arrow function do this so if the events target is equal to the variable holy will take the score inner text make it equal to plus plus points so we'll increment it by one all right i'm gonna add that and then let's work on the stop game button so stop btn add event listener and let's click use an arrow function clear interval game then stop btn styled up display will be none and start btn's display will be inline block okay then score dot inner html is going to be set back to zero when we reset the game and let's see if it does work let's start Where's my mouse or rat? Uh, what have I done wrong? Um, I'm gonna take a look. All right, so the problem we have is that I accidentally put this line of code in the wrong place. It should be somewhere in here then let's do like this and i'm also going to move this inside of this one right over here all right and now this should work so let's start the game 
Oh my god, what is wrong? Okay, I'm gonna take yet another look. Okay, I tried all kinds of stuff. I changed these to be single quotes. I went over the code again and stuff like that and it seems to work now. I don't know what did I do wrong, but here's our mouse killing game, so let's stop it. I'm gonna refresh. Maybe I should have just refreshed the page earlier, but that's alright. So, the game is now working. Here we go. Let's go for 50 points or something like that. Alright. There we go. Almost there. Alright, we got over 50 points. The speed is getting higher, faster. Alright, anyways. So yeah, that's a hit the mouse game with HTML, CSS and JavaScript. I hope you were able to learn something new from this one and I hope I'm gonna see you in the next episode or some other video on the channel. But anyways, see you all later and have a wonderful day. Bye bye.